Okay, don't push. Uh, please hold for an important announcement. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Mike, it all started in a place called home. But sadly, it's ending today. Mike, I've recommended to the board that you be declared incompetent and therefore unsafe at any speed to lead as captain. What? What's going on? Exactly. <laughs> he just crossed his own T, didn't he? I'm so sorry. Well, I'll punch out. Hey, who's the new captain? It's Gypsy! I can't be captain. I have to run the ship. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, I can. I just put a load of creepy crawlers in the thing maker. Mm. Well, Tom, how about you? Yeah, I anticipated this and have prepared a statement. <laughs> Gentlemen, and Gypsy, and Crow, <laughs> and Mike, and Servo. I cannot be captain, for you see, dear friends, I am unfit to lead other men into battle, into space, or in a line dance. I submit that if I pick my nose for a half an hour, my head would cave in. I'm married to know the distinction betwixt Shinola and that other stuff. I cannot lead because I cannot find my ass with both hands and a flashlight. Thank well, Gyps, it looks like I'm staying then. I've missed you. <laughs> I will now open the floor to questions about my incompetence. Oh, I, I am Mr. Servo. Oh, Mr. Servo. Mr. Nelson. Protein Robot. Protein Robot. Village Boy. Yeah. 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 You look pretty smug, Nelson, now that you got your command back. Your precious little command, Mr. Itty Bitty Captain Pants. Oh, Servo, you didn't want command. Yeah, yeah sure. Well, know this, Captain James T. Jerk. Your job is hanging by a thread. You're between Scylla and Charybdis with the sword of Damocles hanging over you by a Gordian knot. <laughs> oh, someone's calling. Hello? Nelson rock -a loser what it is, what it was, what it shall be. Uh, we found Nimrod here. Howdy! <laughs> and since this planet is so nice, I thought I'd teach these tenderfoots how to camp. Maybe even do some hunting for grizzly bar, elk, or the three-horned Rastodian of Thinos 4. So while we're gone, you're on your own. I'm switching you to ship's batteries. <laughs> but we'll have no engines and we'll be without shields in uncharted territory. <laughs> That's true. I, I didn't think of that. You know what else? You'll be without diapers, dude! Deal with it, you big, huge, giant babies! Okay, brain guy, Bobo, time to go camping. Bobo, you grab the camp stove. Um, brain guy, why don't you take my cotton swabs? Thanks. Bobo, don't forget my water bed. Don't bother to drain it. Um, brain guy, why don't you take the ping pong ball? Uh, Bobo, we'll need my 78s and the Victrola. Okay. Brain guy, let's have you take my lipstick, the knockout red. Uh, Bobo, don't forget my vintage base amp. And brain guy, I'm going to have you kill my false eyelashes. Thanks. Uh, Bobo, don't forget my collection of World War II helmets. Okay. Uh, do you think we'll do any metal lathing? Uh, better safe than sorry. Yeah, Bobo, uh, bring the metal lathe and the bar stock. Got it. Okay, we're off. Now, who's going to carry me? Uh, well, I have my brain. I True. Any, meeny, miny, Bobo. <laughs> For a change of pace, Nellstone, I'm going to send you a movie. <laughs> it's called I Was a Teenage Werewolf. Now there's food in the synthesizer and no friends on the satellite. Bye-bye. Oh, uh -oh. oh, great. Switching to auxiliary power. Shields are non-functional. Oh, super. Adrift in a strange quadrant with no shields. <laughs> Creatures of any sort could just wander in here and snack in our torsos, Ooh. bury us till we're tender and come back for more. Yikes. Well, your torso, Nelson. No creature would want to eat us. <laughs> Quiet. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, little Charlie horse there. No. Sorry. Be quiet, please. Sounds like a can opener. Warning, hull breach. See? Probably that can opener. Oh, for crying out loud, I'll go see what it is. A bunch of babies can do everything. Okay, there. 
Oh, what do you think? What the fuck is how? Oh, 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 great. Oh, okay, Mike. <laughs> I gotta show you something, okay? And you see if you notice it. Well, just look at me uh, as if I was normal, all right? I don't feel for it. Ah! Oh, thanks a lot. Makes me feel real good, like I'm not sensitive enough about it already. Okay, let's try to get this thing off of you. Oh, don't do that, Mike. Right. Seems right. pretty attached. Better let it just leech off my life force, lay its eggs in me. <laughs> Won't be the first time. And then just let it go off on its own. Well, I mean, does it hurt much? Well, not a whole lot. Actually, it's kind of warm. Oh, oh nice. This is great. We've got an alien life form attaching itself to our crew. Uh -huh. we, we, oh, we've got moving oh, sites. No, so it's really perfect. noticeable, isn't it? I was afraid about that. As long as you're okay with it. Of London. You are not drinking a pina colada at Trader Vic's, young man. You're just not old enough. Wow. We got a film in a starring Michael Landon. I was a teenage werewolf until that summer of passion when I became a man. <laughs> oh, werewolf has a lot of friends. He gets along well with his were peers. Yeah. Now, do his were mom and were dad know his whereabouts? <laughs> <laughs> Filmed on Joan Collins' bed sheets. Say, make sure his hair is perfect. Teenage werewolf! So, a wolf with zits, that's what we're getting here. It's tough to work the Oxy-10 in past the fur. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm getting satin vertigo. You know, one advantage of a werewolf, they scoop their own poop. <laughs> Wasn't one Gene Fowler enough? Couldn't they have stopped? Ten days since last teen pregnancy. Free pimple cream samples, yay! Phonics is a legitimate language. We are not getting rid of goosebumps in the library. Oh, no mas, no mas. And the 35-year-old high school students look on. Come on, Jimmy, hit him again, he's been begging for it! Please, you're my guidance counselor. the hell beat out of you, please? You got enough? How do you spell it? Uh, I-T, I think. New sports, sophomore tossing. <laughs> Tony. Ooh, right in the little Joe. Oh, he shouldn't be fighting his own dad. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna cultivate you to a uniform two in step. This is not part of the highway to heaven. Disturbing racial undertones here. This is for your bedwetting movie. <laughs> Not the peak, boss. Wow, he fights dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of dirt with werewolves. You get a lot of clean with Tide. Class president one, two, photo club two, werewolf three and four. You just had a crisis at the rendering plant. <laughs> Metro Jewel started it. <laughs> we'll have to draw your diagram. Tony, I know you can get fresh. With Summer's Eve, a low cop civilian ratio in this town. Come on over here. Okay, a little old lady got mutilated late last night. You kids know anything about it? Come on, I want you to apologize to your son. It's a Catholic high school. That's holy water. I'll just get these crusty boogers off of this. Mm. Wait for me in the car, Joe. Crack a window so you don't die. All right, Jimmy. Go ahead, you tell me. Well, Sergeant Donovan. I was reading Modern Maturity. I don't like to blow a whistle on a pal. A pal yet. Well, you started it. Look, you started it. Just slap me on the shoulder. This is a friendly tap. I don't know what you got so excited. I don't like that kind of friendship. Wow. I don't like to be hit from behind by anybody, anytime. I don't like to be touched. Okay, okay. The way you jump me, you think I tossed a brick at you. Right off, he challenges me. I tried to kibitz him out of it. I'm beginning to get the picture. Yeah, and I even told him I was sorry. That's right. I apologized. 
You can ask any of the guys. Yeah. No. no, he wanted to fight. I know I'm bigger than he is. But he wanted to fight. Hmm. Look, what are you, the referee or in his corner? No, Tony, I'm really in your corner. If I can just get you to see it. I'm sorry. We'll go pick up Richard Jewell. Well, I guess you can pick up your marbles. I'll try to low-key this in the report, but what your principal wants to do, well, that's her business. Now, wait a minute. My kiss? Before you go, I want to see you two fellas shake hands. And come out fighting. No, 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 wait. Come on, come on. It'll look better in the report. Sure, a happy ending, huh? Come on, shake, shake. Give me your paw. There. I'm sorry, Tony. I guess I lost my head. I burn easy. Now, I got to get back to the bank. Got some loan applications to go over. No, Tony, you really ought to smile more often. Sure. Win friends and charm snakes, huh? That's just what I wanted to talk to you about. Snakes? You're suspicious of everybody. You act like the whole world's your enemy the way you flare up. Oh, uh, people bug me. <laughs> That's right. Hide behind jive talk. People bug you. <laughs> well, people bug me, too. But I don't go around clouding everybody. Go on. Come on. Finish your beef, uh. will you? All I know is you've been in trouble a half a dozen times. Well, that's you don't so have hard. any official record yet, but you're sure working up to one. Head him! But well, you got a crystal ball, huh? I've pulled you out of fight three times myself in the last month. You're just lucky there weren't any formal complaints. The time before this in the supermarket. It was the checker's mistake! Yeah, but you didn't even give him a chance to rectify it. Boom! You throw a carton of milk right at him. It contained bovine growth hormone and he turned but, into a giant cow. Tony. I threw milk once, too. I'm just trying to tell you that you need help. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. What kind of help? Well, there's a prominent doctor, Dr. Brandon. He's a consulting psychologist out at the aircraft plant. <laughs> He's been working with the police department without charge, trying to help difficult kids adjust. He's working with Richard Jewell right now. It's a just kick. Polish off the rough edges. It's a just. It's a just to what? everything yeah. teachers parents other students pants coffee you know some kids have a tougher time than others and it's not necessarily their fault now this dr brandon well he's modern he uses hypnosis he's half and he's modern. oh no 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 head shrinker for me thank a hair you. shrinker maybe you know that's <laughs> all i need that's all i need tony the flip no sir thank you you keep the man in the white coat for the goofs i can take care of myself the way you have up to now? That's one for me, face. The way I have. Can I stay at your place? And you won't let anybody help you. Not into a straitjacket, I won't. They're in your color. Look, uh, you hold me on any charge? Second degree milk hurling. No. <laughs> then I can go. Yeah, yeah, you can go. I gotta go throw ricotta at a stock boy. This is the last warning, Tony. If you get into trouble again... It'll be the chair for you. Don't expect it to be a breeze like this. I can't let you off. Okay. I heard you. Officer Thickface. Hey, don't you do that. You put that butt right back in your pants, young man. Yeah, I better go work on the Black Dahlia case. Edgar Winter's little sister. Everything all right, Tony? Sure it is. What did Officer Donovan say? I don't want to talk about it. I've had enough yakety yak to last me till the end of the term. And she likes him because... Uh, where am I going? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Arlene. I hit you with that goo. I say things, I do things, I, I don't know why. Because you're a jerk. I try to control him, it's too late, I've, I've gone too far. I smeared Dad with mascarpone last night. I don't know, I, I... I get a certain feeling and I have to... Throw dairy products. I don't know. I just don't know. Let me know for you, Tony. You must try. Yeah, I'll try. But not Donovan's way. What's his way? He wants me to go to this, this head shrinker, Dr. Brandon. Like, like I was a flip or something. Is that the way he said it? No, he, he sprinkled a little sugar on it. But I'm not having any, thank you. Let's go milk his oh. house. Okay. Okay, I'll try. But my way. The way she tarts around in that outfit. Come on, I'll take you home. I can lash out at you more freely there. John Carradine has major booty compared to Michael Landon. My paw's caught in the accelerator. If I were a bug, I'd be proud to smash into that grill. Yep. Ooh, your nose is cold. She lives on the corner of a navel and codependent. <laughs> hey, it's depressing, Dad. I haven't killed myself yet, son. Hi, Dad. Hi. Mom's still dead. 
was it today? What's the difference? Your principal called, said it was your fault. Why does she bother you? Because I'm your father. She said I'm supposed to discipline you. Bad werewolf. I told her at home you never needed discipline. Not even when your mother was alive. I don't know why she has to drag you into it. Go to your mat, son. Good boy. You missed the point. Well, if you know, tell me. Son, your bloke home is grounded. Sometimes you just have to do things the way people want them done. That makes them happy and they leave you alone. That's inspiring. I used to have a foreman like that. Every time I assembled a motor my way, he beefed. Dude. When I assembled it, Dad, I don't like to be pushed around. Wow. Tony, sometimes you just have to do it the other fellow's way. Why, sometimes he lit his beefs. He'd sit on my head and beef. Well, I gotta be going. Sorry I can't eat with you. Night shift again. I don't want to, but a guy told me to. Oh, there are a couple of lamb chops in the icebox. I season them the way you like. Just set them in the pan. That'll make you beef. Dad, I can cook a chop. And be sure you cook them. Don't eat them raw like you did the hamburger yesterday. That's all the foreshadowing we can afford now. Tony. Give up. Think over what I said, would you? I mean about not being so stubborn. Give in to despair. It might make things a lot easier all around. Take the droppings life off. Okay, Dad. Off to my job at Dismal Co. Brought to you by the Despair Council. Oh, he beefed before he left. Lamb chops. I wanted lime grilled brook trout. Uh oh. Milk. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna do it. He checks the runner. Spins a twist. What am I gonna put on my cocoa puffs? Uh, can I borrow some milk? I gotta go. Bye. My very abusive boyfriend is here. Dad, played by H.L. Mencken. <laughs> Jabba the husband. It's Tony, and he's not even late. Maybe you're beginning to train him. That's no way to call for a date. When I courted your mother, we... Things were different then. Mm -hmm. well, I still want my daughter treated with respect. Your father's right, Arlene. <laughs> oh, Dad, it's got nothing to do with respect. That's the way all the kids do it. But I still can't understand why you only date him. Oh, not that I have anything specific against Tony. But there's Steve Harmon, the druggist son, mm -hmm. and there's Willie Blake. Oh, love, and... Mother. I date Tony because I like him. In fact, I like him a lot. Why? You just ask him to come in, Arlene. Go ahead. We won't fight him. What's he playing, Vulcan Solitaire? Oh, right. <laughs> well, he may urinate submissively, I should warn you. Tony, would you come in for a minute? Come on, Tony. Come here, boy. Yep. Please don't sniff Dad's crotch, okay? Good evening. Mimi, Ike. Hi. Nyla Bone, son. Tony, lick me. I like things formal once in a while. So put on a tux. We just wanted to look at you before you take our daughter out to a party. You'll understand the strip search. You don't have any objections? No, I don't. Well, then why don't you call for her properly in her home? Now, Dad. No, no, no. A little man-to-man -man talk won't hurt anybody. Careful. He's packing half and half. Well, I would, only you don't look too pleased. No, really, you know, sometimes when I walk in that door, I think you're going to swat me with a baseball bat or something. Oh, I'm sure that's just your imagination. It must be. Mother, get the bat. Unless you feel guilty about something. Now, Dad, you promised. Just the same of a young girl and especially a pretty one like Arlene like to feel proud of the young man that takes her out another insurer mother young man who keeps busy with the right kind of things like sprinkle a lawn take out a paper route haul boxes in the market where's the opener Mary on the sink dear where's the sink any job that keeps a teenager out of mischief and builds a good reputation mm -hmm. oh, yeah, like, like our bank cashier you know the one that's missing the guy that ran off and lost it all at the track. Now, being a smart aleck won't do it. Mm. You've got a part of authority. Everybody's <laughs> on my back today. Oh, Daddy, it's Halloween, and will we have to go? Yes, we don't want them to miss any fun. <laughs> okay, okay, I've said my piece. Mom got her hair styled like Aaron Burr. Mm. On one thing you can be sure of, Mr. Logan. <sighs> what? At least I'll protect your daughter. From creeps like me. All right, kids, have a good time. Remember, now I want you home by 12. No excuses now. 12. Noon tomorrow. You heard what Dad said. Not after midnight. Remember what your mother said about what I said. Should have picked you up before 11.45. Your parents are great. They're really fun. Mm -hmm. hmm. Full moon. I wonder what that means. Hmm. Probably nothing. Hey, what got into your dad? 
despair, fear. You heard about the fight. So it's over. But I heard more. I heard you cried. More? Oh, Tony, don't flare up. And please let me say it through once. I, I hate you. I, I asked about this Dr. Brandon. He hates you too. Now, if he could really help you, it would be wonderful for both of us. And it would make things easier both at school and here at home. Your will would be broken and that'd be good. Yet about the four years of waiting, college and all. And your prison term. Say you told me. Or, or I'll withhold cuddling. Arlene, get this straight and get it final. Ooh. I'm not going to any doctor like Dr. Brandon. Not even if you have to. But I don't have to. I love you, Tony. Don't I? Now, come on. Forget it. I feel good about our relationship, don't I? Mom's inside licking Metamucil off Dad. Ooh. It's the werewolf dance. We're gonna tear out a deer's entrails. Yeah. Ooh. I love you, Recessa Annie. Bruno Hopman and Julie Nixon cut up on the dance floor. Hi, I brought my jerk boyfriend, Tony. <laughs> Guitarist Mel Bay rocks the house. Ooh. They're listening to Kind of White. <laughs> well, she's dressed to dance the Shapoopy. You can smell reefer, tide, and mildew down there. <laughs> Ginsburg, yeah. Corso, good to see ya. Frank, how are you? Hey, what do you say, Tony? Hi, Arlene. Hey, Tony. Hi. Tony, hear this. Hear this. One, uh, one, and Hey, man, you really got those things straight. Uh, I slap them silly, boy. We got to be... We, we, um, Vic, if you're going to play the bongos all night, who am I going to dance with? Latch on to Frank, he's got no date. But I came with you. She's baby schnooks. Look, how square can you get? You came with me, so you dance with him. It doesn't make sense. Ah, kids those days. I'll clarify it for you. Hey, Frank. Lighting fires and master meeting. You what? Want me? Be my guest. You, you know, my dog told me something fascinating today. <laughs> the blood of my victims cleanses really? the earth. Me? <laughs> yeah. Gotta read in Ben Hogan. Boy, this sure beats you, Center. Supervised entertainment. Eight to ten. Square dances and waltzes, and a cigarette is a crime. Oh. Scooby-Doo. Mike, I'm going to ask you to kill me now. Mike, please kill me. Well. Ah, oh, this probably hits home, eh, Mike? Oh, no, no. <laughs> what'd I do? 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 Okay, Servo, your turn. Ah, you know, Mike, at first I thought this face hugger was annoying, but now it's really growing on me. <laughs> oh, but I kid this face hugger of mine. <laughs> okay, Servo, your turn. Okay. Hey, hey, good news, everyone. My proximity detector just arrived from Daymark. Oh. Now we'll be able to get a handle on the foreign life force that's invading the SOL. Proximity detector? Yep. Detects infinitesimal variations in air density, so we'll know exactly how many of those little buggers are crawling around the ship. Good. All sir. for ten monthly payments of nineteen ninety nine. Good. So I, I put it on my Discover card. You know, I didn't know Daymark took Discover. The well, Lillian Vernon doesn't. Finger on chip. <laughs> no way. So uh, the gal said to put it on my Discover. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, you were saying, Mike. A proximity detector? You what? Prox oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's fire this baby up and find out where those little Arcane. sons of are. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. They're what? everywhere. What? Like They're what? under the floor. What? They're in the walls. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. Okay, uh, we oh. got to do something. No, no, I just need to neutralize oh. all functions. Let's absolutely That's necessary. That's only necessary for human no, life support. No, I got it, Mike. It's too late. late. What? Too late. What do you mean it's too late? Too late. Oh, no. Ten yards. What? Hold me. Five yards. They're coming right out of the way. It's on top of it. Okay, please. It's crawling with me. we got to get to the southwest corner of the base for now. Let's move. Oh, for would you look at this? I had it on the wrong setting. <laughs> I was measuring the humidity. Well, it sure doesn't make much sense to have the evil alien setting right next to the humidity setting. Oh, boy. I mean, I can't be the first person that's happened to. Thanks for helping us out, Crow. Yeah. Oh, don't mention it, Mike. 
We'll be right back. Oh, oh, by the way, Mike, uh, we have humidity on the ship. You might want to have that looked at. Okay? Well, yeah, yeah, my God. Oh, I thought this was going to be a costume party. Can I get a Manhattan Boy, here? Boy, this pad sure is crazy. And don't forget, it was Tony who found it and got permission to use it. But is it really haunted? Boo! Oh! Donnie Least. Stop scaring me. <laughs> is this a haunted house? Do I have to call all the signals for you? Well, you don't have to scare me to death. Sometimes I wonder why I date you. Because you dig me and I dig you. No, that's not you know, it. Ben, sometimes I don't understand you at all. The understatement of the year. Hear this, hear this. Vic's gonna sing this new crazy record for us right now. Oh God, pant alert. Elvis J. Pollard. Tomorrow belongs to me. I want a gal with a lot of dough. When I find her, we're gonna swing. Up to the preacher with the wedding ring. Tell me where she is, cause I don't know. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. London called and said I was there too. Get away from me. So far, she ain't been around. Someday I'll meet her and then I'll say, shoot, bit of baby, for all our way. Horrifying. Hurry up now and follow me. But don't forget to bring your do re me. The dance team of Sissy and Sissy. <laughs> We're now entering a genital free zone. And suddenly it's a bad Dick Van Dyke show. Oh, when clowns mate. <laughs> this Giagogo really hadn't found its hipness yet. And gutter ball. Can I cut in and kill one of you? This is going over just as well as Letterman's Uma Oprah thing at the Oscars. Ultimately, thank God for MTV, you know? They would never allow this at the teen center. Anytime you're Scooby feeling Doo. sad or blue, you just call me baby and I'll run to you. Why would I do that? If you ever leave me, you're gonna pay Tempo. $50 dollar every day. So I'll be yours from this. Cab Calloway! Well, no. Amateur night at the Apollo. Rich girls sure are hard to find, but I'll keep a look until I lose my mind. She's bound to show up eventually. Then I'll be rolling in security. And I'm just trying to cram in as many words as possible into the song. So eeny, meeny, find him Fifteen teenagers savagely tore apart one of their peers today. Cindy Lou Bozo. Let us call it rock and roll and it will sweep the nation. <laughs> well, I have some stock options that might interest you. We got a nice present for Vic in that closet. You know he's always the life of the party and he knocks himself out to entertain us. Yeah, well the kids yeah. got together to get him this present. Go on, you give it to him. You're his girl. Oh, I'd be glad to. She makes Sandy Duncan look like Betty Davis. Oh, you whacked Tommy for him. That's great. <laughs> Some joke. Maybe you think it's funny, but I don't. And anyway, why does everybody pick on me? You're right, baby. How am I doing? And from now on, anybody picks on you is gonna have to fight me. John Paul too. Now for that, I'll collect a kiss in advance. <laughs> the Carnival of Souls, boyfriend. <laughs> I bet you had a lot to do with all this. Me? Yes, you. Issue closed. And I bet you're not so innocent either. Now why do they always pick on us? It isn't fair. I'll say it isn't. Just when I was going to give her a nice present. That's woman for you, no appreciation. What present? This one. After all, I'm a respected oh. orthopedic surgeon. Oh, it's... it's my gallstone, honey. I don't know. It's a new box. Candy. Oh. Candy. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, my falsies! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> well, off to Vietnam, I guess. Hold on, I want to see that. Yeah, now she has years of post-traumatic stress disorder, arrhythmia, flashbacks. Mm. Can you play the big drums like you do the bongos? Just lead me to them. Can I play the big drums? Better than the bongos. Mm -hmm. Great. They're in there. Yes. And give me a real long blast, will you? Sure, sure. So no one has any accumulated memory or experience? <laughs> ah, pig's blood, pig's blood. <laughs> it's the wet, deformed elf competition. Thanks. I've 
can't even share it. No, a wet him is worse than him. All right, now, okay, let's have some food, okay? Yeah, Dad fits right in. Yeah. Come on, gang, let's see. Yeah, at least there's no gags in the food. This party's really percolating. Yeah, I've never had so much fun. A huge tin of generic tomato soup. Yummy! And canned okra slices. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the exact moment Michael Landon became beloved by America. This is all my fault. Sock hop of the damned. Eeny, meeny, miny, whoa! I thought I was Dale. I thought it was all right if I picked a little fight, Bonanza. If only they'd provided milk to throw. <sighs> and Haas signs the commitment papers. Its office is a cabin up north. <laughs> Everything normal, my boy. Now let's check you. Physical examination is a formality, but a necessary one. Before we enter the mind, we must know the condition of the body. Oh, you're nude already. Tony, you're a perfectly normal human being. Save for your tower of hair. No reason in the world why you can't have a full, wonderful life. Mm -hmm. If... Yeah, if. If I adjust, and I... It's the if we're going to work on, son. We'll work on it together. Okay, Tony? You're the doctor. That's why I'm here. Actually, I'm the receptionist, but I wind up doing most of the medicine around here. All right, Dr. Wagner. Tony, will you just sit down over here? Dissel, Landon, Werewolf, catch it. Eric von Stroheim, nurse's oh. aide. I directed Creed, now this. What is it? Just a mild sedative. It's Thirsty Thursday here at the doctor's office. Well, maybe dopey or anything, will it? I have to drive home. No, it's simply to relax you. I'll drink it down. It's called Mega Wolf 2000. Now that's a snappy tomato. I'll be back in a minute. I'll get your chips. I'm sorry, sir. Wow. <laughs> Hugo, prepare the scopolamine. Prepare the made-up thing. <laughs> Let's see if my underpants are cold yet. Here's my bill. I'll just pay me right here. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to mix the serum with the scopolamine. Over cracked up. But do you realize the possible consequences? I realize one thing. That at last, after years of searching, I found a suitable person for my experiment. His record at school, what the school principal told me, what I learned from Detective Sergeant Donovan, gives him the proper disturbed emotional background I need. Uh, I want and pudding. And I found out from the physical examination, this boy is my perfect subject. He has bonds of steel. There were certain telltale marks on his body. Only I would recognize. But you know what might happen. Might. In science, one must be sure. Even movie science. I'm going to take this out of the realm of possibilities. Into the world of exact science. If I'm successful, then I can be certain. But you're sacrificing a human life. Do you cry over a guinea pig? If it's snowball... It's a police case. We're probably saving him from the gas chamber. The boy is so young and the transformation horrible. Another huge you face. a scientist. That's why you've never been more than an assistant. But if you interfere, if you say one word... No, 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 Alfred. You can trust me. We. Yes, I know that. You've been more than an assistant on other occasions. Accomplice would be a better word. Here, try that. You'll kiss God. What is the plan? Through hypnosis, I'm going to regress this boy back. Back into the primitive past that lurks within him. I'm mm -hmm. going to transform him. Mm -hmm. And unleash the savage instincts that lie hidden within. And then? Isn't that enough? Then I'll be judged a benefactor. Mankind is on the verge of destroying itself. The only hope for the human race is to hurl it back into its primitive dawn. To start all over again. Or I could invent no iron sheets. What's one life compared to such a triumph? What did you do with Snowball? Now, as a teen, I assume you've shot up many times before. Boss, can I get a bigger smock? I'll only feel a scratch. Believe me. And then you'll feel incredible pain as the needle enters. Spike is in my vein and things are quite the same. Bonanza. Now, go spot some trains. This makes the hypnosis more comfortable and prepares the way for analysis. Now, remember, I don't want to be disturbed. Well, that was the needle, the damage is done. Why don't you schedule another appointment with the receptionist? Tony? Heal. You must think of this as a trip. To the vet. A sort of 
voyage of discovery. Man, I'm so On baked. the way, we'll find out many fascinating things about you. Fun factoids. And in the end... It's all crap. You will no longer be disturbed or troubled, because you will be you. And I am... You've placed yourself in my hands. I'm the pilot, you the passenger. I am the words, you are the tune. Play instead me. Instead of going forward into space, we're going... To Davenport. Backwards in time. Is that all right? Or... Begin at 100 and count backwards. We'll start together. Uh, Tony? 100. 100. 99. Yes, Max. 99. Yes, Max. 98. Oops, the camera was having an eye exam. 73. 72. So they faded for 20 seconds. 72. Quickly, tell me, where are you? I'm in my treehouse and I'm nude. I'm on a beach. How old are you? Um, pass. Next question. About 12, I think. Go on. Uh, go on, play. I'm playing with some kids. I'm leaving the legacy of love. What are you? tries to take away one of our toys. I throw milk at him. He grabs it and runs away. And what do you do? I go tell Father Murphy. I run after him. Wetting my pants as I go. I jump him. I scratch him, choke him. He studied mumbling with David Duchovny. He's older than I am, but, but he begins to cry. So he's a total puss then. <laughs> Around Could you sum up Mr. Carlin's waiting for his appointment? That'll be all for today. Ooh. I'll get your check. You may wake up. I'm tired of being a psychiatrist. Wake up! Come on, come on, chop, chop! Gotta fill the chair, turnover! Come on, come on! You okay, Tony? Wolf? I'll see you... In September. Day after tomorrow at the same time. Don't worry, my boy. Soon you'll be yourself. Your true self. An angel or a cowboy or a pioneer dad. It's the back door of the Vertigo Church. They have Angela Davis shrubbery. Hmm. Courtney loves prenatal care. Fifteen. Fifteen. Pi. Fourteen. Avogadro's number. Thirteen. Length's constant. Thirteen. Twelve. And so on. I think you get the idea. Eleven. Eleven. Where are you now, Tony? I'm at Grandma. She won't turn down the heat. Where are you? Very small. Tell me what you're doing. Playing with a box of men. Filmed in sonal vision. Two. Divided by love. Two. One. Is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. One. Now where are you, Tony? Concentrate. Where are he you now? He devolved too much. He suddenly enjoys Adam Sandler movies. No, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't want. I don't know, mister. It's dark. Wolf, wolf. You tell me. Please tell me. Where'd you put the remote? I'll help you because I'm your friend. Uh, loosely defined, of course. Will all become clear to you? He's very bland, yet I hate him passionately. Tell me. No. Tell me. No. Tell me. Again, no. How it felt to run over the hills in the moonlight, to hide by the stream, to wait in silence until... No. No. Remember how wonderful it was when you sprang suddenly dug in with your fangs, a soft throat, the gush of warm blood? No! No! The lambs, Clarice. What about the lambs? I want you to remember. You must remember. Where's the outrage? Oh. Hmm. Help that crazy dig cat. Arch Hall Jr. and Ada Annie, beatniks. <laughs> you know, Vic, you're good enough to sign up with a band. He's had lots of offers. Oh, get off my back, will you? Is that what you told me? Women who love arrhythmic trolls. Tony, you can tell me to shut up if you want. Shut, shut up. up. You're not with it tonight. Are you pregnant? No, I'm not. Like you're not yourself. Usually you're a jerk. Yes, I'm not myself. I'm Coco Taylor. I think I'll take Arlene home. We'll stop in and visit her parents. They always cheer me up. Come on, honey, let's cut out. Well, I'm having fun, but okay. That's right, I <laughs> promised your folks I'd have you home by midnight. You listen home, Frank? And it's here with you, lovebirds? No, thanks. Everybody else is paired up. How are you going to get home? How will I get home? I'll get home on my feet. I'll walk. I'll take that shortcut through the woods. Ding, 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 right victim! The power works. Why don't you two join us at Ruby's Drive-In? No, we're going right home. Go on, Tony. We'll lock up. Oh, 
Oh, so you've joined the exclusive set. The Amish. No, you just talk too much, that's all. I'm for peace and quiet. I follow Gandhi. Come on, Tony, let's go. I have to bleach my hair and face. I'll just steal this purse and... Uh... I'm fine. Walk, walk, walk. That's me all the time. Walk, walk. And walking alone night, is Ollie. the best. Mark, uh, Good night, loser. I mean, Frank. And that's why you like me, Arlene. I'm sorry I made you yell at me, Tony. Don't forget math. First thing in the morning, early. Sure, I'll sack in right away. So I bet you're real hot for that nondescript character we didn't give a ride home to, huh? <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll probably get into the house fine. I'm sure there won't be any problems that you need to stay around for. Thanks, Tony. Uh, so this guy's sure come home is through the Carpathian Mountains. I'm okay. I don't need a ride. What was I thinking? It's like 47 miles. <laughs> I'm probably pretty tasty and well marbled. Not something I've often thought of. Ray Fines is Lil Abner. Is he whistling an Elliot Carter tune? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I was going to come out of my shell at that party tonight. Jeez, I forgot. Least stealthy wolf in the world. I was a teenage werewolf snack. A textbook example of the weak one of the herd. <laughs> if only he didn't live on the other side of Glacier National Park. Bet you anything, when he gets chased, his heel breaks and his skirt is too short to run in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does the wolf have rice cakes in his shoe? I hope it's not a g -g 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 girl <laughs> Hello? Hello. Teenage Rerolf. <laughs> yeah, there are so many playboys hidden out in the woods here. Yeah. Who's there? Judge Crater. D.B. Cooper. Madeline Murray O'Hare. <laughs> You know, werewolves are just as afraid of you as you are of them. That's true. Wow, his whistling's getting really good. Prelude to the disemboweling of a teenager. Well, it's the rare South American scarlet macaw again. <laughs> Whose woods these are? I think I know. Who's there? Ooh. Counselor, come out, come out wherever you are. It's just someone returning a slide rule. Uh, the medical definition of this is spaz attack. Art Blakey and his jazz messengers are after me. Help me. All the trees look the same. I can't remember which one I live in. <laughs> a werewolf like that, he kill your brother. It's the kind of kid who would drown in a rainstorm. <laughs> Okay, I apologize for strange days, but I was really good in the English patient. No, oh, it's a horsefly. Get over it. Please, not a wedgie! Jeez, what a waste of sexual crime, huh? Okay. Uh, <laughs> any luck, Crow? Uh, yes, all of it bad. I can't detect beans, Mike. I mean, arr. Har! Um, hey Tom, what happened to the face hugger? I hunted him down, ate him, and killed him. Hey, hmm. where'd you get all the guns? Well, 500 years in the lawless universe hardens a robot, my friend. Takes more than cigarette coupons to collect an arsenal like this, let me tell you. Hey, nice pineapples. Ooh. Those aren't pineapples, you wussy. They're grenades. Uh, well, that's what they call grenades. That's what they call grenades. How many people have you killed, huh? I don't know. Hey, I swiped all this stuff off a dead Nortonian commando. That's where I got this deadly little neutron machine pistol. <laughs> I call her Lucille, right, baby? Whoa! Oh, oh, he's coming! coming. Oh, 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 back, Lucille! Oh, Slow down! Geez. City now, girl! <laughs> Sorry. It's all clear now. Don't worry. Nothing good. Oh, look out! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, ah, ah. There. There. Ah, there we Finished, go. Rambo? Yeah, I guess I'm all out of ammo. Gosh. Well, I'm going in after the beast. She's taken to the ductwork. Don't try to stop me. Okay, goodbye. Oh, Mike, grab that radio off my belt so we can be in constant contact, okay? Okay. Here I oh, go. Hey, Tom, one yeah. more thing. Uh, how long before you come back crying? <laughs> <laughs> Good Mike, one. jump up my butt, okay? I'm off. Silver wings. Good boy, brave Tom. Oh, Lord. So, Mike, I got a 20, says 30 seconds or less before he cries. <laughs> okay, you're on. Okay. 
Welcome, Mother This Is Hawk. Mother This Is Hawk. Hawk. I'm sorry, Mr. Hawk. Who are you calling for? <laughs> Mike, it's me, Tom. Hi, Tom. It's really dark in here. Nobody told me about that. They didn't bring a flashlight, and it, it's real dirty, and it smells like socks. There we go. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> What's the matter, Tom? Oh, no, I'm stuck. Getting ready. Don't cry out loud. Ramping up. You're okay, Tom. You'll never walk alone. They're coming to America today. <laughs> yes, that is a cry, my friend. Ah, yeah, that's it. All right. There you go. Thank you, Papa. Enjoy. Oh, hey, we got movie time. Hey, what about here. me? I oh, just hang tight and don't let the alien eat you. Ten more picks. Wait a minute. Poor dope. Grab the bullet, Chris. Thanks a lot, you knobs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Right. Toma, Beretta, Petrocelli, Pepper, this time you've all gone too far. These are official pictures? Yes, Chief. Does my bald spot show in this one? I think you look better in hot pants, sir. Strange. They're upside down, sir. Who Ooh. found the body? Art Logan, the auditor out at the power works. He takes that shark cut through the woods every morning. Says the only exercise he gets. Yeah, we're really buff, so we can make fun. Any idea how long the boy's been dead? No, maybe the PM will show. The coroner has the body. Boy, does he ever. Oh, strange. A slice on each side of his throat. Well, I did that, sir. I just wanted to see if he'd catch it. <laughs> Got any ideas? No. But I've never had an idea ever, so... Boy had no enemies. There weren't any gang fights in Rockdale. Plenty bruises, scratches on his face, clothing ripped off. Well, how was the boy killed? You got any theories? It was the Big Bang, sir. Not a shiv. Not hands. Teeth? No thanks, sir. Got some. Fangs. Hmm? Hey. You're welcome. <laughs> There's no wild animals around here. I've walked these woods since I was knee-high to a duck. I've never seen anything wilder than a tomcat. I know. That's what makes it so hard to believe. But I still say fangs. And I still say you're welcome. <laughs> Maybe if the boy had a chance to fight, his fingernails will show something. Let's hope so. In the meantime, let's keep the lid clamped down on this until the official reports come through. Ah. Maybe even after that. And get Mark Furman on the case. Whatever it is, we've got to be sure. I told Art Logan not to say a word. Good. Kill him anyway. Keep his lockdown files. Yes, Chief. I meet face. Just one rumor about Fangs and the newspapers will have a field day. Not just the local papers, but reporters from all over the country will have on-the-spot coverage, photographers. They'll have a field day, all right. Damn, First Amendment. Here in Rockdale, we'll have a panic. Yeah, I know. But I'm more worried about the teenagers at the school. And check the surrounding town. See if a carnival, a circus, or a county fair has been setting up their tents. I suspect a Prano pup vendor. Also see if anybody has a private menagerie. Maybe a big cat got loose some way. <laughs> yeah, drag Siegfried and Roy Why in you, here. I talk to the farmers in the surrounding areas. They're nice folks. Sometimes they keep a wild dog for protection. Mm. Whatever it is, we've got to be sure. Facts first. And don't encourage any rumors. Shoot I'm... anybody talking. Huh? Now I've got to go and see the mayor. Oh, and seal off the entire city under a giant plexiglass dome. Thanks. Howdy, man. Hi, Pepe. Did anyone throw up in here? I'm going down to the lab. Better get those pictures locked up in the file. I hear there's a lot of throw up in the lab. You might want to watch out. It's really Martin Lando in disguise. Pepe. Boy, How Dennis the Menace's later years didn't go too well. I left a copy of Swank in here. <laughs> Did you? I need changing again. Oh, Chris, uh, do you mind if I take a look at that picture? You know the boy? Once in a while, I played pinochle with his father. Very small stage. And french fried potatoes. Uh, yes, I knew the boy, but perhaps uh, I have a better reason. Tom Ewell's last role. Let me see the picture. You're not to say anything about this to anyone. Understand? It's going on 12 years that I'm working here. Have I ever said a word? Well, you messed up the Manson case for us. That was not good. What's the matter? You see something we missed? I forgot my glasses. Oh, poor boy. Poor boy. Peppy, I don't blame you for being upset. Imagine how his family feels. They all beefed. I know what killed him. You do? 
Human being or catcher's mitt? You decide. He was killed by, by a werewolf. Oh, a Catholic werewolf. A what? A where? In the old country. In my little village. In the Carpathian Mountains. Uh -huh, Europe, there was whatever. a story yeah. passed on from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. Some say it was a legend. But I know it was the truth. I'll tell you what werewolf is. It's a human being possessed by a wolf. You say that on every case. <laughs> when the evil eye is on you. Forget about it. The savage beast somehow gets inside and controls you. Rush Limbaugh? Makes you look and act like a wolf. Makes you hunt down your victim and kill it like a wolf. I will never know. Kill you with fangs like a wolf. Kind of. Well, you're crazy. You're worse than Dr. Smith. You better not let anyone hear you talk like that, Pepe. You'll wind up in a booby hatch. Hey, fun. Werewolf. Come on. Yes, that's what I said. The first time it was told to me. I beefed. Later, what I saw, what I heard, convinced me. I'm going to put these away and lock the fire. You just forget I never showed them to you. And I'm calling the INS. He's a janitor who doesn't play by the rules. Yes. I'll be glad to forget this. Ah, go change some light bulbs. Today's headline, Janitor Forgets. Oh, that poor building code. News for the Bland, page three. Well, hello, Tony, my boy. Come on in. I'm kind of in already. You're a little early, but welcome. Get your drink. Thanks, Dr. Brandon. I, uh... Well, the reason I came early is... You don't have to tell me why. Let me be the one to interpret the symptoms. After all, you have placed yourself in my hands, so to speak. Patient input prohibited. Tony, <laughs> punctuality is a phase of adjustment. Sometimes the patient leans backward to be prompt. Comes even before his appointment. <laughs> now, is that clear? No, Doctor, that's not why I'm here. The bus was early, that's all. I wanted to tell you about something... Oh, no, you don't have to tell me now. I'll hear it all under hypnosis. I'll get the injection ready. But, Doctor, I found a letter jacket in my stool this morning. <laughs> Hippocratic oath, schmippocratic oath. Is the scopolamine ready? Yes. But the stuff in the mini bar is really expensive. Alfred, you read the paper, you know what happened. There's a difference between a newspaper story and a scientific report. I have to be sure. Even in a minor experiment. You know how many guinea pigs are used up before the trailblazer is ready to announce a new discovery to the scientific world? I'm three. Surely you know how skeptical scientists are. But I'm a barber. You have to be. But you realize the consequences. I realize that I have an old woman for an assistant. If you mean I have a heart, I don't consider that an insult. You go, Grandma. You're just standing in the way of progress. Progress? Do you call it progress to hurl back the human race to its savage beginnings? Yeah. They prove to be the only road to progress. I have a changed purse, but that doesn't make me an old woman. Hey, your liquid Pez is ready. The whole room has liver spots. Go ahead, my boy. Drop trowel. Dr. Brandon, there's something I have to tell you. And just chewed up your slippers. I, I, I don't know if it really happened. It's more like a nightmare. You've dated before. I, I, now, Tony. Shut up. Very often in psychotherapy, strange things seem to happen. Because you're crazy. Sometimes when we light up the dark corner of the human mind... Doctor! You're out of red books in the waiting room. Doctor, please help me. And do exactly as I say. All I can tell you is that your progress is excellent. I've even told the principal of your school that. Yes, I'm extremely pleased with the progress you've been making. And soon, Tony, very soon. We'll be married. You'll be your true self again. Boy, you'll be a werewolf soon. Cool, he's got the Keith Richards signature syringe. And after this, we'll go out for a nice naked lunch. Now, uh, this is a map of the area. My area. We'll start with the abandoned house. Teenagers call it the haunted house. Crazy Question kids. Them. Yeah, just informally. They had a party after a football game and went home. They all drove except Frank. The loser. Walked through the woods. How about his parents? His mother's in a state of shock. His father wants to know just one thing. What are the police doing about this? Uh, that's it. Well, I wish I knew. They'll all be down on us unless we find the killer. Air club for men. Chief Baker. Stand by for an important message just for me? Meet. Donovan. Yeah. I'm just mad about Saffron, right? Okay, thanks. Mom says I can't eat over. Picked up a couple of vagrants out of the freight yard. Well, go ahead. I'll be right in. I'm going to go pan sear my face. Well, I checked the neighboring towns. There aren't any circuses, carnivals, or county fairs. If they come at all, they come in the spring. Mm. How about farms? I checked those, too. 
They mostly truck, very little livestock, a few pigs penned up, some horses. Werewolves. There's a mink farm about three miles north of here. But they're all baby mink. First thing they do is cut off their teeth. So he wasn't gummed to death by a pack of baby minks. Well, everything seems to lead to a dead end. Ann Miller in high school. The world's most unflattering leotard. Ah. Carrie Sloan. Mr. Ridley, your form is improving. Thank you, Miss Dolphin. But I must repeat, we're judged on points, and Linwood High has won the gymnastic events three years in a row. Oh, I certainly hope we win this time. So do I. Yeah. Have you had enough for today? I've got to go. Oh, gee, I'd like to practice for about another half hour. Well, you don't need me. Just remember the other pointers I gave you. Stop sucking. I've got some shopping to do. You go right ahead. Anyway, you make me very self-conscious, breathing down my neck all the time and picking on all my mistakes. <laughs> I just want to try it a few more times. That's the spirit. Good Rosa Klebb, gym coach. I can't believe Merlin Olson got that flower gig. Will you come in, Tony? I'm just leaving. Sure, Sister Mary Frank. I hope you didn't mind waiting. I had some reports to finish. This is clearly not the same set as the doctor's office. You wanted to see me. Yes, I wanted to have a little chat with you. Well, it's required by the state. And for heaven's sakes, Tony, don't look so glum or so suspicious. For once, we meet on a friendlier basis. No, you're not going to chew me out, then. <laughs> As you say, I'm not going to chew you out. Sit down, Tony. Stay. Thank you. I have a report here from Dr. Brandon. Naturally, all this is kept strictly confidential. Well, I tell my girlfriend... It's a report of progress, which I'm happy to confirm. You mean he says I'm adjusting? Very much so. Amen. Your grades are about the same, but then your grades were always high. And so were you. However, your conduct is very much improved. Except for the killings. Tony, you're coming along just fine. Mm. Thanks, I'm glad. And as a reward, I want you to know that if you continue this way, you'll earn an honor certificate. And a set of steak knives. Yes, Tony? An honor certificate. I'll recommend you to the state college. Your grades will be high and your deportment will match. Well, I did have a scholarship to Oxford, but... It means so much to me, Miss Ferguson. So far, every pupil I've recommended has reflected great credit on Rockdale High. And I know you will. So keep it up till graduation. Then you'll be off to your real career. Chronic unemployment. Thanks a lot. You're a great old guy. I always knew that if somehow we could just break through to you, I mean really get inside of you, you'd be a credit to your father and to your school. And that you'd win best of breed. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I'll see you at home. Dismissed. You are Tom Jenkins, aren't you? Could you and I ever be more than spinster and lycanthrope? Wow, State College, then on to refrigeration school. Ironically, State College has a no pets policy. Hmm. It's all right if I kill a couple kids bonanza. Hey, refreshment! What is out here? Does just walking through it make you want to kill yourself? Well, then it's a high school. Wow, she's really, really bad. I'm stuck. I'm stuck up here. Uh, ow! Ow! That was dumb of me. Ow! Yeah, this is one sport that's come a long way since the 50s. Yep. I am witnessing genius, the symmetry, the beauty, the definition of athlete. I, I gotta call John Tesh. Ow! Ow! God, I'm doing it again! What the hell is wrong with me? The bells, 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 the tin tinnabulation of the bells. The ear level mounted bells. <laughs> Oops, he's Johnny Depping. Ah, she does one move, but she does it well. <laughs> Let's see how Grecian formula works. Hey, it's Lemmy from Motorhead, man. That's it, I'm done for, my spine is broken. Time for your compulsory being eaten routine. I'm back, werewolf man. Okay, I'm finished. You can use the bars. I was a teenage dork wolf. You know, he does look kind of like Bella Caroli. <laughs> Donna Shalala to the rescue. <gasps> I'm being attacked by a Berenstain bear. The tragic loss of this gymnast really debilitated the American Olympic team. Judy Garland runs out of pills. <laughs> the English werewolf has teeth. This is a job for old teen. Uh, you know, he's just playing with his food now. 
<laughs> Looks like it's curtains for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he's wearing black sole shoes in the gym. Um, mistakes were made. This is good though, because she caught him in the act and she could just shove his nose in it. Mm. My hip. My, my, I was a very rude teenage werewolf. Billy Corrigan. Should have got invisible fencing. Did you see him? Yes, I saw. Did you recognize him? I think it was Fido. I'll call the police. I'll call the police! So, in answer to your question, yes, my face has been compared to a pork roast. We thought we'd take the blankets out first, sir. Mm, wasn't a very good parade. <laughs> I'm having a generic emotion. Mr. Ferguson, I, I know this is difficult, but anything you can do to help us... Could you help us move a couch? He... Ate his own vomit. Oh. It came running out of the gymnasium. It didn't have a hall pass. I recognized the jacket, the trousers. They were the same? No, they were separates. The same. Uh, Ma'am? Face. <laughs> that muzzle. The eyes. The hands like claws. Uh, thanks anyway, ma'am, but you haven't been any help at all. I never saw anything like it before. But you recognize him. It was Tony, all right. It was his jacket. Anybody chase him? No, it all happened too fast. Mm. Besides, we were paralyzed, man. Just too man. paralyzed. Man. And then he disappeared. Yeah, yeah, like an animal. They jumped the fence and ran to the field. Man. Ah, good God, yo! <laughs> all could have been prevented with a few firm leash laws. <laughs> he just glued crepe hair to his football helmet. I'm sorry, Sergeant, but I cannot be swayed by mass hysteria. But there were eyewitnesses who swear they saw him. Hallucinations. That's what I need. I'd have to see this so-called beast with my own eyes. After all, a scientist needs a platform of concrete facts before venturing an opinion, and overwhelming proof before stating a conclusion. Slabo face. Doctor, this is hardly the time for a lecture. You had Tony under your professional care. You were with him time and again. Mm. You were supposed to help him. As far as I know, I did. His behavior after I took the case proves that. Mm -hmm. Did you come across any hint, a clue? Mm -hmm. Did he reveal anything? I keep careful case histories of all my patients, but I don't need to tell you that's a matter of strict confidence between doctor and patient. Yes, I'm aware of that. However, we hoped you would cooperate, help us. Don't you think you're wasting a lot of valuable time interrogating me? After all, your duty is to try and find this... Uh, Hat, spoon, this young man. Now he unleashes the full force of his face at him. Why do you shy away from the word? Everyone's using it. Groovy. Werewolf. I do not subscribe to old wives' tales. It's my belief that these legends or myths passed out with the invention of electricity. After all, this is America, modern America, not a hamlet in the Carpathian Mountains. What did the Carpathian Mountains have to do with us? Good skiing. That's where the legend was born. The people there believe in werewolves. Yeah, they also believe in hairy armpits for women. The so. shadows of night creep over their gloomy hills. The hungry dogs howl in the moonlight. Stop the it! The peasants cross themselves and hide in their huts. Any canine they see with sharp white teeth and glittering eyes they call a werewolf. Even a fish! Doctor, you seem to know a great deal about these myths. I amuse myself with fantasy. Like I'm the stable boy and my assistant is the Contessa. I live by facts. I'm Whit Bissell. Good night. Hi, Peppy. You're in late tonight. Oh, a whole lot of throw up today. Oh, Chris, uh, would this teenage girl killed the same way? Peppy, yeah. I got your new same toilet way. brush. I told you. I knew. A werewolf. Tell me something, Peppy. Have you tried Tylex? In the old country, did they ever catch a werewolf? Never. Never. Oh, you know, wait a minute. They did most of the time now that I think of it. So he has the whole woods and he can't find a decent tree. No, they couldn't shoot at night because the night belongs to Michelob. I thought the night belonged to lovers. Yeah, it did, but it was bought up in Michelob. Oh. Yeah. Did your boyfriend ever give you any indication? Never, never. Colonel Mustard did it. 
Do you realize that if this thing had come over him when he was with you... Now, there's no use upsetting our little girl any more than she is now. I'm sorry that you talked to her in the first place. Yes, I think that's enough. She's been crying ever since this thing happened. She must get more rest. Ooh, sorry. Well, uh, beef. just one more picture. Exclusive photo of the mother and father of the girlfriend of the alleged werewolf. Now, you're not going to let her go to school. Well, school's closed till this thing is over. Anyway, we'll protect her right here in our own home. Right here in our very own home? You don't really believe that your son no, is weak? No, I, I can't believe. What kind of a boy was Tony? Real lively, like me. Is Tony. He was always on the quiet side. Kept pretty much to himself. Collected roadkill, kept a kettle of hands. Maybe I should have remarried. A good woman around the house, affection of a mother. Mm -hmm. A boy needs that. Especially when he's grown up. What I'm saying is, will you marry me? Not that Tony ever complained. I even asked him. Does he miss... Should I? He said, no, Dad. That's not my piddle. We'll get along all right. Just two of us. And what the hell did I ask you again? You no woman could ever replace his mother in my heart. Well, uh, Racco. Or in his... What I mean is, uh, did he always obey you? Yes. Only I hadn't know how to ask him. Ask him the right way and he'd do anything. Just give him a liver snap. Tony's a good boy. Oh, he's a milk tosser. I don't care what they say. Tony's a good boy. Mm -hmm. Yet he hasn't come home or you haven't heard from him since he left the school early this morning. Mm. Oh, certainly he must know how worried you are. J. Edgar Hoover, grief counselor. Of course, you know what the principal and his teenage friends are saying about the terror. Mm. How it looked. Now, wouldn't this indicate to you that perhaps Tony's... Leave me alone, will you? Oh, baby, you gonna cry now, baby? Leave me alone. Yeah! <laughs> the eggs! The confounded alien hell beast is laying her eggs? Uh, or did we always have these? No, we didn't always have giant alien... Okay, I've got a plan. We'll make a giant omelet, and we'll eat it before she sees us. Yes. It's our only chance. Yes, yeah. brilliant! I'll make sure she's not watching. And I'll work on the menu. Okay, that's a good idea. Get yeah. pictures of the food at... Uh-huh. No, would you just hurry this up? This is gonna be so cute. I've always wanted a little breakfast place. Bad news, Mike. She's not around, which means she could be anywhere. That means we have to eat fast! Fast! fast. Okay, here's a little bit done for you. All right. All right, Crow, we need you to get in here and eat an omelet. Gotta eat fast! Fast. Well, hello. Do you have a table? How about right here? Eat. Thank you. Ah, let's see. What do you have? The 20-egg cockadoodle omelet, the 40-egg omelet of Mattis Egg County, and the 60-egg eggapalooza. <laughs> Is the cockadoodle omelet enough for me, you think? What's screwing around? Eat that. Well, I just may, although I see some wonderful waffles on here. Hey, Tom, what are you having today? Uh, oh, that sounds great. Uh, well... Waiter, waiter, are you my waiter? Could, could you come back in just a tiny minute? I'm not quite ready. <laughs> oh, look, the story of the Eggapalooza. Grandma Smirker loved What's by one What's going on? Eat that omelet. That is a rather surly attitude, Mike. What if I were a restaurant critic? In fact, I am a restaurant critic. You didn't know that, did you? Okay, here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, this is going to look Sorry really good that. in my column. Well, just eat that fast. We'll be right back. Eat. Inattentive service and brutal assault with steaming eggs marked my visit last week to what was formerly one of my favorite breakfast places. Stuff. Hey, the wolf went out for cross country. So his paws just fit in his shoes, huh? Mm -hmm. John Malkovich takes a nap. Mm -hmm. Pat, men are all ready. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm just kind of depressed, but I guess I'll go. It's my job. Hey, now. It may seem like a long shot, Donovan, but if we can capture it before morning, save the community a lot of trouble mm -hmm. and panic. You can try, but night in the woods is going to be tough. One thing in our favor. Can't go very far. I can only travel on foot. Also, it's got to stop to rest and eat. Well, how about we put a pork chop on a string and lure him under a box and slam it down on him? Ed, this is Jed, Ned, Cletus, Scooter, Cooter, Jim Bob, Joe Bob, Clem, Clay, and Bocephus. All right, now, we'll move in stagger fashion. Because we're drunk. We'll circle the outer edges first and keep going round and round until we meet in the center. So take your drama mean. 
If you run across it, or even if you see any suspicious tracks, notify me immediately on the walkie-talkie. Or scream hysterically. I don't fire unless you're attacked. I want to try to bring this thing in alive, if possible. Oh, another thing. When we get further in the woods, I want you to light the torches. Animals are afraid of fire. Maybe werewolves are, too. All right, let's go. Come on, Don. Um, animals are also afraid of vacuum cleaners, sir. Should we bring a bunch of those? Yep, yep, eh, Mr. Douglas? You searching for werewolves? Here, boy. Here, boy. <whistles> Try banging on his food dish, men. Yeah, so, werewolf. That's exactly what we're trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> <Good one. laughs> Remember that time we burned that cross over there? What a time. You know, the Bernard Herrmann score really heightens the tension, doesn't it? Oh, man. Jeez, I told you to fan out. We're scared. All right, men, close up. We better light the torches. Sir, I gotta get back and transfer Oswald. Ahead, Charlie. Take a couple of torches and go on up the hill there. Donovan, will you take a man and beat up this ravine? But, sir, I... the ravine didn't do anything. <laughs> I love that. Bud, you check the woods and be very, very quiet. All right, you go ahead. We will march into the forbidden zone. <laughs> well, sir, I stepped in some werewolf dew. Take back the night, man. <laughs> man, if you see him howling around your kitchen door, you better not let him in. Very interest ring, but rupid. <laughs> A super stealthy Denver pile. White trash, black heart. It looks like Paddington on a bender. And the werewolf is a herbivore. Luckily, this guy's name is Herb. Thank you. Oh, rumpa pum pum, rumpa pum pum. <laughs> the murder of Joe Besser. Hey, Mike, come over here. Me? Did he mean? Is he? I don't know. Uh, movie, Mike. No. But take a look at this stuff that looks like Nixon. For sale by Hobbit. Contact Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Sasquatch. <laughs> Personally, Jeb, I prefer the London production of Starlight Express. Find the bodies from Stand By Me, River's Edge, Twin Peaks. Wow, is that me? Yeah. I'm Alpha. I'm Alpha. No, 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 wait, let's sniff butts and talk about this. Well, he shouldn't have worn his beef bullion after bath splash. <laughs> Give me back my pig's ear, you jerk. You vowed your love from here to eternity. Say, Cletus, how much pork gravy do you use to make toast? Ed Norquist and Stan Torkelson, they're cops. He's actually an I was in Argentina during the war, Shepard. Don't mention the war to this dog. Yeah, I'd... Look, let's call it a draw. I got some guys after me. You know, Bull Connor shouldn't let his dogs just run around. And... <laughs> Honey, is that you? I finally just need him in the groin and snicker snagged on him. Ted Danson. <laughs> hey, Vern. Looks like they killed the dog, huh? One member of the incredible journey down. <laughs> Man, we're a terrible posse. Lenny and Squiggy, Knights. <laughs> yeah, nothing but half-eaten dog up here. Indiana Jones and his sidekick, Merle. Hi, right, did you fail too? Yeah, we searched Hooters, Deja Vu, Buns and Roses, and Fat Burger. No luck. All right, hold it. Hello, oh, Donovan, did you see anything? There's a dog back up there he killed. Well, I suppose they do those things. Well, he's got to be in here someplace. No sense of looking for him in this light, though. <laughs> well, look, Donovan, post guard so he can't possibly escape. Mm -hmm. We've got to get him. Ollie, ollie, oxen free! 
Hello. <laughs> Never let Jose Feliciano lead your search party. <laughs> ah, time for a good round of scooting. The manhunt was organized by the Lilydale Senior Center. Uh, sir, I think I saw a werewolf with a Chinese menu in his hand. 1943, an Ewok makes it behind German lines. Corn sarn it! Dad gum it! Son of a biscuit! Dag nab it! H.E. double toothpicks! Great Caesar's ghost! Hmm. And <laughs> the scene just peters out then. Yeah. Meanwhile, at Dad Noir's house. Go ahead, answer it. Just tell him to give himself up. Tell him it's the best way. Advise him as his father to surrender. Well, do you think Sprint needs to know all that, sir? <laughs> Did he lose his butt cheeks in World War II? Hello? Yes, he's here and he won't leave. Thanks. Thanks. Dr. Kevorkian will see me on Tuesday. It's only the foreman. I'm not being docked for staying home tonight. I'm being fired. <laughs> See if that matters. To celebrate, I might sit in a different chair tonight. See if anything could matter. Other slice of stale Wonder Bread for you? I only knew for sure he's still alive. Hey, I'm not finished with the scene yet. Wow, what a beautiful gray spring day. Oh, I may have overscooted. Oh, 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 I overslept. I got a full day in marking territory. Oh. A sandwich is a sandwich, but a man is a meal. So he's lettered in uh, nothing, I guess. Well, that's right. I was supposed to live long and prosper. I think Nellie Olson is behind all of this. <laughs> They're about to close the lunch buffet at Nilda's. Look what I found. But the cloth ripped off. How do you know it's his? It's just a description. They wore a jacket like that. How do you know that's part of the jacket? No, I think we better call this water off. Oh, hi, Tony. What would you think if I wore tiny shorts with this smock? Look. Alfred, don't interrupt Hugo. These junior jumbles are very difficult. <laughs> Alfred, aren't you wasting your time? Or do you have a second victim in view? I'm not wasting my time, and I don't like to hear the subject of a world-shaking experiment referred to as a victim. <laughs> Call him what you like, but he's being hunted down like a dangerous animal. Well, that's his deal. And after he's captured. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure he will be captured. Mm. Transformation into a werewolf is not all on the minor side. It also gives the subject the cunning of an animal. Well, then I want Friday off. And you think somehow he will come here? I have his Gaines burgers. All I have to do is wait. He must come here. I'm with Bissell. Do I smell bacon? Why, yes, I do. Everybody's barking at me. I can't hear a command they're saying. Hey, you! Want to see me wail on this old lady? Next time, use a crosswalk. Mm -hmm. You think that'd be all right? <laughs> Kids with their walking. The one or more people aren't killed. Time to turn into super werewolf. Yeah. It's going to call the pound and casually ask what they do with the strays. The brutal interrogation of Cindy Brady. So they still wore powdered wigs in the 50s, huh? Let her answer. He's got a good phone voice. All right, miss. You answer it. Answer nice and slow and nobody gets hurt. Remember now, hold them long enough so we can trace the call. <laughs> the calls are coming from inside the cop. Werewolf's girlfriend, how may I direct your call? <laughs> Make him talk, you little werewolf loving Hello? tart. I just got my hat blocked. Yeah. You wanna score some crack, son? 
God. I don't like him. Dad, Pablo Neruda waits nearby. <laughs> Whoever he was, he, he hung up. You're going down, Cupcake. Do you recognize his voice? Uh, I couldn't be sure. I got some feelings on the street. I'll check in with Huggy Bear. Look, miss, if you're trying to protect him by holding back anything, you're wrong. <laughs> His best bet is to give himself up. Well, I only heard the word hello. How could I be sure? If you'd stop hooking for 30 seconds, you'd know what kind of trouble you're in. Ooh. Find comfort in my jowls, honey. Later on NYPD Gray. Sergeant Donovan. Big face here. Where? 10th and the Hudson. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody just caught sight of him. Downtown? Makes sense. No trace of him in the woods and all the roads are blocked. Let's go, Chris. Sergeant Chris. Ah, oh, good. Whit Bissell will light a fire under this film. The results of the case of Mrs. Banks indicate that... I've made her into a were chicken. <laughs> I was expecting you. You are Meadowlark Lemon, aren't you? Come on in, Tony. Uh, I mean, remain in since you are already in. Dr. Brennan, I know what I am. I'm a dancer, damn it. What I become. It was on my vaccination tags. Help me, doctor, please! Oh, honey. I know they're going to catch me, but don't let anyone see me like that. Please, doctor, help me! I got a thorn in my paw! Please help me! Of course, Tony, of course. Who's your main provider? Come on over here. Get in your pet taxi. Look, don't start. Alfred, I beg you. It's too late to bring the dead back to life. But at least you can help him. Mm -hmm. Help correct a terrible mistake. Mistake? You dare call a scientific triumph a mistake? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? Aromatherapy. You must make the voyage back once more. I must see with my own eyes and record with my own camera. Here, okay. you'll be the witness. Mm. We'll have it all on film. Mm -hmm. From the time I first give him the injection through the transformation. Ooh. And then no one will doubt my word. Even the most exacting, the most skeptical of scientists will be convinced that I have penetrated the deepest secrets of creation. Like how do they make frogs? That I've achieved... Things. The first perfect case of regression. I trust you implicitly, Doctor. Nothing bad has happened under your care. Well, thank goodness all the aircraft employees were sane this month. Okay, show me some fur, sweetheart. Ooh, let's see those pearly white canines. Okay, you want your hockey equipment for the next picture? You know, he's Pete Sampras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excedrin headache number 12. Tova Borgnine, you've done it again. <laughs> Joe Esterhaus. <laughs> Don't! I'm not here. Oh, jeez. I forgot I had clothes on and I'm piddling. <laughs> if that's Rin Tin Tin, tell him I've just left. Don't do anything. Dogs can sense bad acting. Alfred, stop him. <laughs> you know, if they had him neutered, he'd be more docile. Cut it out! Such a pinch. Ow. Lunchables, anyone? Why don't I keep the number of the pound in the safe? Well, this is gonna be really sad like the end of old Yeller, isn't it? <laughs> um, sit? <laughs> <Ew>. ah. <laughs> Tony. Tony, I'm your friend. I let you kill my assistant, didn't I? I'm the only friend you've got. Look, you negotiate your copay. Tony. Tony, you can dance. You can get out of here. Well, that didn't look right there. <laughs> Tony. Ranchers often complain that werewolves Tony. come in and trash Tony. their houses. Tony. So, Tony, you want to reschedule for next week? <laughs> oh, the, oh, the, oh, a werewolf that size can really poop. Grandma? Oh, Why don't you just finish the doctor and then we'll talk about it. 
Halt or I'll shoot. <laughs> Apparently he was wearing a lot of talc. <laughs> Good thing we switched to standard issue silver bullets a few years back. Maybe they just should have waited for the sanctions to work. There's no other way out. Right. Nothing else we could do. Right. We had to. Rationalize. Yeah. Did you see his face? I mean before. I'll never forget it. Until the hearing. But at least they'll see him this way now. Riddled with our panicky bullets. What about him? You want to shoot him? I don't know. My hunch is the score was even. Boy, the newspapers will just eat this up. Or they might just reprint, please God, I'm only 17. Yeah. But after they've had their field day, it's big. one thing will be clear. It's not for man to interfere in the ways of God. No? Remember, only get injections and past life regressions by licensed mad psychiatrists. Before your credits, caress. And Arlene's parents buy her a puppy to comfort her. <laughs> you know, I don't mean to be picky, but their ellipses are unevenly spaced. Chief Baker, you mean they got fresh baked goods on this shoot? <laughs> <laughs> on here we're, we're losing power red alert something's draining all energy from the ship oh well, you see it's the alien ah we're gonna die it's literally feeding on us mike we need to repulse it you mean sour it's milk Ugh. what no. if we reversed the ship's polarity yes that's yes. it reverse the ship's polarity yes. reverse the ship's polarity yes, yes. and polarities Reverse. Bad news, Mike. The alien loved that. Uh, I'm gonna die, and I never even really live. Oh, we need something that will really repulse it. For example, I never got to snowboard or eat steak tartare. Mike, do you think? Do you think at long last that it may finally be time to... Servo, Servo, no! We always said Mike would only do that if we... If we, if we faced imminent death which we do my friends and we may die yes but if we meet on the other side Mary, Mike, it's growing exponentially he's doing it mike's become the most repulsive thing in the known universe adam durritz of county crows oh, yeah. someone's getting close to understanding oh Elvis god no let the alien kill us Elvis. instead Elvis, you're I must funky be as you Here. Oh. Here. Oh. 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 Here. Oh. 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 It was horrible. Shush, it's gone now. No, it's still right there with those oh. idiots' oh. hair extensions. Oh. Hey. Oh. Mike, Pearl and her crew are calling us. Uh, Mrs. Forrester, how could you leave us like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. An alien came aboard our ship and laid a bunch of eggs, oh. and I had a face hugger on him, and it tried to suck the life out of us, and, and well, <laughs> we just got really scared. <laughs> oh, did a little, little baby get him all scary, weirdy? Oh. Oh, they were scared. Scared. Oh, really, Nelson? I am embarrassed for you. <laughs> you think that was scary? I'll show you scary, you toddlers. Gather around, everybody. It's time. Oh, it's scary story time. <laughs> Interesting. Warning. You may get the crud scared out of you. Oh, crud. All right. <clears throat> Once upon a time... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little gorilla. Oh, oh. This little gorilla was very, very naughty. No, no, so one no. scary day, something very scary happened to this little gorilla. No. Oh, how absurd to be so easily frightened. It, it evidences scant knowledge of the true workings of the universe. I agree, which is why I know you'll enjoy this next story. Oh, I'm quite certain that I will. Please Once proceed. Once upon a time, there was a little boy in a robe and a hood. A little boy who carried his own brain around in a little brain boy. I, I, I think I know where you're going with this. I this little brain boy never did what he was told. 
Oh, oh really? <gasps> One day, the little brain boy went away and never came back. Oh, I, I, no, 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 the universe wouldn't be so cruel. No, no. Well, and do you know why he never came back? Uh, uh, why? <laughs> because he died. Oh, 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 o